using input masks and lists. Other methods to restrict data entry are by defining input masks and lists. The input mask can be defined for any field to accept only a specific pattern of data. For example, three numbers, dash, three letters, dash, four numbers. Let's first learn how to set the input mask using the PC Sellers database. In this database, we will set the input mask for the Unit Sold field of the Sales table. Before starting to do this, let's open the Sales table in Datasheet view. Note that the Unit Sold field has a maximum two-character numeric data. For our exercise, we're going to set a two-character input mask that allows only numbers to be entered. First, right-click the Sales table and choose Design view. Select the Unit Sold field. Place the cursor in the Input Mask text box and enter two hashes. The two hashes determine that only two-digit number inputs are allowed. If we need to allow only alphabetic characters, we type question marks. We can also use the Input Mask wizard to set up input masks. Press Enter to accept the mask. Now save and close the Sales table in Design view. Open the Sales table in Datasheet view. In the 31st record in the Unit Sold field, let's try adding A4. Notice that the A is not accepted for input, and only the 4 appears. This is how input masks work in the Access database. Lists contain pre-entered values and fields can be linked to use these lists. Lists serve as another method to restrict data entry into fields. Let's learn how to link lists to another field in the table. In this exercise, we'll create a new table and add a new field named Day of Week. We'll add the day items to this list. First, double-click Create Table in the Design View option. Next, enter Day of Week as the field name. Choose Lookup Wizard as the data type. This will open the Lookup Wizard. Choose the I will type in the values I want option and click Next. Type in the weekdays that will appear in the list. Again, click on Next. Finally, click Finish. Now close the table. You'll be prompted to save. Choose Yes. Enter the table name and click OK. In the next window, Access will prompt to create a primary key. Choose No, as we do not need a primary key for this exercise. Open the table that we created in the Datasheet view. Notice that the field appears as a drop-down menu with a list of options. Thus, users can be forced to choose an option from this list instead of manually entering data, thereby saving time and ensuring accuracy of the data.